What's up guys? Welcome to Field Series Review. Today, we're going head to head between the Equinox pants and Equinox midi pants. All right, everybody. So today, we're gonna go head to head with the Sitka Equinox pants and the Equinox midi pants. Now, as we're getting into cooler weather of the 2020 deer season, I'm seeing more and more people online confused about the difference between the Equinox pants and the Equinox midi pants, which is understandable. Um, these just came out this year, so what's the why, you know, why'd you guys come out with the Equinox midi pants? What's well, the difference between the, the, the Equinox and the, the midi pants? Everybody's just calling them the midis now. Um, this is one of those situations where because you're having to order online, and through magazines, you're not able to put your hands on these items and the naming convention doesn't help. And that's why you're a little bit confused. This is one of the situations where if you walk into a store and these two pieces were standing or hanging side by side, you pick them up and go, oh, I see the difference. Makes sense now. And then you'd be able to make your determination on what you need for your system or where you hunt based upon that. So. <clears throat> What's the difference? The difference is the Equinox pants is a polyester stretch woven uninsulated pant. There's no insulation in this guy. This is a very comfortable, very athletic, stretchy pant. This is the probably one of the most purchased pants from the Sith, entire Sitka line, definitely in the Whitetail line. Um, I have a full review on my channel. I have a full review of both of these on my channel. Um, you're going to have cargo pockets on the outside. You're going to have places for your pocket knife. This guy is made to be worn from early season and then layer under it some down into <clears throat> the, the mid season. I typically, my rule of thumb is as long as it's 40 to 70, I wear my um, 40 degrees to 70 degrees, I wear the Equinox pants. We get above the 70s. Um, I will go with ESW pants, have a review for that as well. We get into the 30s and below, I'm going to go with the midi pants. The midi pants are a polyester outer pant um, with a Berber fleece lined <clears throat> uh, interior all the way down. If you guys are familiar with the waterfowl line and you have the gradient pants, that is exactly what these are. They are missing the stirrups at the bottom, but that is exactly what these are. These are made to wear in cold temperatures underneath bibs. These work really well with stratus bibs. If you live in cold, 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 and you want to put them underneath fanatic bibs, go for that. Um, these don't have the cargo pockets down the side. These have two pockets on the thighs. And yeah, you can store here, but the primary purpose of these is to let heat out. So if you're walking to the stand, it's a little warm, you can unzip along the front thighs to let some heat out. Um, <clears throat> the, the Equinox mini pants are gonna be much more tapered from the knee down because they're designed to easily slip down into bibs, slip into uh, muck boots or, or knee high boots or whatever it is that you wear. You can do the same thing with the Equinox pants, but they're not as form-fitting. They're made to be more loose, more baggy, allow more airflow in the early season, mid-season. You can also layer under them with um, <clears throat> some base layers, gets the job done. Um, both of them are gonna come with a belt, so you don't have to worry about that. I actually think it's the same belt. Um, some, of the, some of the designs are very, very similar, but the Equinox midi pant is a fleece line version of the Equinox pants and are made for colder temperatures. All right, so if we're looking at a couple of the specs about these guys, um, both of them uh, only come in elevated two. They're both gonna come with DWR technology in the outside, it's gonna have a little bit of water repellency. So when you're walking to the stand in the morning, uh, do condensation, anything like that. It's going to easily come off of these guys. You're going to be paying $199 for the uninsulated Equinox pants. You're going to be paying $179 for the um, Berber fleece lined Equinox midi pants. Um, both are going to come with a belt. Both are going to come with hand pockets. As far as sizing goes, you're going to have a size 30 through 30. Uh, as far as sizing goes, you're gonna have 30 through 44 
in the Equinox pants and in sizing in the midi pants for now, you're gonna have a medium through a 2X. So a little bit different in the sizing, you may wanna check the sizing chart. I am six foot one, 200, 205 pounds, though I think I'm down to like 198 right now. Um, I have a 36 in these, in the Equinox pants, and I have an extra large in the Equinox midi. All right, guys, so now we have a look at the interior of the Equinox and the Equinox mini pants. And this is where you see the major difference right here. The Equinox mini pants, as you can see, is a thick Berber fleece lined pant. You even have Berber fleece on the pockets here, so everything touching next to your skin is going to be insulated. Over here on the Equinox pants, no insulation, very thin material very stretchy made very well all good all around hunting pant but this is where you see the difference between a mid-season pant early season mid-season pant no insulation and a late season pant that's going to keep you warm and go really well underneath something like a stratus bib or stratus pants all right guys hope you enjoyed my quick comparison of the equinox pants and the equinox mini pants i know sika kind of threw everybody a curveball with these if you haven't been able to get your your hands on them but i hope that helps you guys a little bit be sure um we're doing giveaways still from dixie falco pacific falco all you got to do is be a subscriber to the channel like the video comment below in the state in which you are from and i will choose a winner at the end of each week so Hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions, comments. Look for me in some of the Sitka chat rooms. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions and help any way that I can. And we will see you guys next time.